going to show you how to make this scarecrow wreath. This is a Burton and Burton scarecrow head, and then we got these dangly legs. Uh, it's a very basic wreath tutorial. It's going to be the ruffle technique, very easy. Uh, it's just a ruffle technique and ribbon strips, and we're going to show you how to do that. And let's get started. This is a 24 inch jute wreath. The difference in this, it is a burlap color and it's a pencil wreath, but one side of the twist has an actual jute uh, twist. So we're gonna use that for this basic wreath. Now on our 24 inch wreath, the metal rings measure 15 inches across, but your finished product will be 24 inches or larger. And we're also gonna use this new mesh. It's a frayed edge burlap. Uh, it has a uh, poly background or poly base and then uh, it has jute threads and this burlap is frayed on each side. We're going to take uh, this frayed edge burlap and cut it into 10 inch strips and we're going to use the ruffle technique. going to cut a few to show you how to get started. Now the first thing we're going to do is take the 10 inch cut piece and we're going to flip it over. You can see the, the natural curl of it. Uh, flip it over and then we're going to scrunch up through the center of the cut edge. This is your frayed edge and then here's your cut edge across here. So we're just going to scrunch up through the center, pinch that together and make a ruffle just like that. And then we're going to start on the wreath. It doesn't matter if you start on the inside or the outside. And open up one of the twists and just lay that ruffle down. And just close that twist just one time for right now because I'm going to put two layers of ruffles. So just take your mesh, scrunch up to the center. Get your ruffle pinched. And then we're going to put two of these natural ruffles uh, natural color burlap into each twist. Now there's 18 twists on this 24 inch wreath so it should take us uh, 36 pieces. Uh, this mesh is 10 inches in width and 10 yards in length so we should get 36 and we're just going to do that. We're going to put two of these ruffles in each twist and go all the way around this wreath. We're going to go all the way around the inside first and then we'll come around the outside. Okay, I got all my roll cut and I did have 36, so now I'm just going to start filling in all the way around the wreath with the ruffles. And I think what I'm going to do is just hold one in my hand till I get my second ruffle done, and then I can put them in together at the same time. Now we've gone all the way around our wreath with two layers of ruffles in each twist. And with this ruffle, <coughs> ruffle edge burlap, you can see it's very shaggy. Uh, I like that frayed look. But now we're not finished. Now we're going to go with our next layer. Next we're going to take this 10 inch, uh, 10 inch in width by 10 yards jute, uh, poly jute. And this has orange poly, but then the jute thread is also dyed orange. So we're going to cut 18 pieces of this, 10 inches in width, uh, and go around the wreath with one more layer of ruffles. We're going to make the ruffles the same way. Um, this is your selvage edge. The uncut edge is your selvage edge, so you always want to be sure and scrunch up through the center on your cut edge. Now all mesh ravels, the uh, fewer cuts you can make in it and the less you can handle it, the better you know your raveling will be, but it all ravels. And of course using this frayed edge burlap, you know, I don't think it's gonna show so bad. Now still, I just open that twist and place that orange ruffle down on top of the last um, burlap ruffle and then close the twist back. You just close it a couple of times because we're not through. We're gonna go in and add in some ribbon in just a minute. 
So just undo that twist, lay your ruffle down, and secure your twist back with just a turn or two. Okay, now we've gone all the way around both rings with a layer of the orange poly jute. Next, we're gonna add in some ribbons. Of course, you can add in as many ribbons as you like on your wreath. We have some other, some brown cowhide and some uh, other uh, kind of an autumn striped, and we may add some of that in too. Uh, but let me show you how to do the ribbon strips. We're, this is a two and a half inch ribbon, the de denim is, and we're gonna cut it in uh, 12 inch strips. And then to chevron your edges, you can take the lengthwise strip, fold it together, wrong sides together, just fold it together, and then fold it one time lengthwise, and then cut, make a, a right angle cut on your folded edge, and then when you turn it out, you'll have a chevron on both ends. We're gonna do that for uh, all of the ribbons that we use. So just fold it in half, and then fold it in half again lengthwise, and then cut on that folded edge. And then when you fold it out, you'll have a chevron cut on each end. And to attach your ribbon strips, you want to take your ribbon and pinch it in the center. Make sure you've got your right side up. And on this one, I'm going to just layer this narrow ribbon on top of that. Just pinch it together in the center, and then I'm gonna open up a twist. Doesn't matter where you start, but I'm gonna open up one of my twists, open it all the way down to that orange layer, and lay that ribbon twist on top of that. And if this is your last layer, you can secure that ribbon with three or four twists. And we're gonna go all the way around, and we may alternate and use some of this um, cowhide ribbon and some of this stripe too. And like I say, you can just use any kind of ribbon that you want, but we're gonna open up each twist and put in some ribbon strips. Go all the way around the wreath, the inside and out. I wound up liking the four ribbons that I chose so well that I made a clump of all four ribbons. Uh, the denim, the two and a half inch wide, and then the cowhide, and then these other two. And I just uh, created a clump like that and I'm attaching them all at one time. Now, there's our wreath after we've applied our ribbon uh, strips in each um, twist. And like I say, you can use any assortment of ribbons. It doesn't have to be uh, the exact ribbons and just use something that's different widths, different textures, different colors. Now, next we're going to add our scarecrow head. This is a Burton and Burton scarecrow head and it has a burlap string on it where like, you could just hang it. We're going to secure it to the uh, work wreath frame uh, with some uh, zip ties. And then we have these scarecrow legs that we're gonna hang from the bottom. And the legs have wire in them and they have this little cloth top. And we can just, uh, you can run a little floor wire through that and attach that to the bottom of your wreath and then you can position your legs however you wanna do that. Okay, there's our wreath. After we finished, we attached our scarecrow legs and we attached our scarecrow head. And let's see, it measures about... It measures about 27 inches in width. Remember that you can use any kind of ribbon, just, you know, alternate your ribbons. We'll give you the supply list of what we used on this particular wreath, but as with most any of our tutorials, by the time we uh, list the supplies that we use, we usually sell out of those. But the main thing is, is that you use a couple of ribbons of different sizes and different colors. Uh, thanks for dropping in. Be sure and give us a like if you like the video and subscribe to our channel so you won't miss the next video coming out. Thanks now. Bye-bye.